kind of cool look here. Okay. We're going to do an Ethiopian um, Sadama, and we're going to do 30 grams. They're going to weigh the coffee. Look at this. This is how it should be. Okay. And this is our new, new burr grinder. Okay, and then we've got the grinder over here, set of eight, which is kind of coarse, isn't it? So we're going to start the brew process here. It's going to do the pre-infusion, which will swell the coffee and bring out some of the flavor. It'll start to swell here. And this is going to brew for, for 45 seconds. That's another feature that's totally adjustable, depending on the specific coffee and your taste profile. You can also program in the time between the sessions of turbulence and the strength of the turbulence. Pressing out via air. See some nice crema almost on top. And the end result is you get a lot of the natural oils in the coffee. So you can see all, all the great oils and flavor in that. Wow, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to get the, there we are, seeing the light. Look at the oils. Very nice. This is Counterculture's Ethiopian uh, Mishisha, I'm going to guess, Sadamo. Sadamo region, probably a dry processed coffee. And here we go. Oh my gosh, it's as complex as a glass of wine. It really, this is the show hit in my opinion. This is the machine. I've waited for something like this for years. And I've come and my friends at Bonn, I've come and I've said, oh, well, you know, you've got a good machine. Nice to see it. Oh, I see, this year it's got a red, a red knob here or something like that. But this year, this is a completely different cup. And I have to say, I got a preview of this about a year ago. In a, uh, they didn't show me the machine, but they, they let me taste a cup from it. But this is uh, fantastic. And the great thing about it, it lets you, every variable, you can adjust every variable. This really allows the consumer or the person who makes the coffee, it brings it full circle. Just like the person who grows the coffee gets to do all these variables when they're growing it, the right terroir, the right kind of irrigation, the right climate. And the person who processes the coffee can dry process or wet process. The person who roasts the coffee can air roast, you know, uh, roast in a drum. Now we can really do something with brewing and control all the variables. Fantastic. There's flavors in this coffee. I, I love Ethiopian coffee and Sadamos particularly I've never had before.